Man, you know what they say. Bigger's always better. You know what I say. Enough is enough. Today, the little guys stand up in our five foot eight inches of glory to show the big guys that size comes from within and they'll know once and for all that I got these tiny itty bitty sticky icky supermotos for the Sumon. Look how cute they are. But we'll show them that size doesn't matter. And I'm also running another giveaway, so keep watching to see how you can enter. Let's go. We got the Ron and the CRF. How long have you driven this one? I've only ridden the CRF for like an hour. Yeah. And it's time to upgrade. Yeah. Well, I was looking up the specs and I was like, wait, what? Yeah, it's like super slow. A thousand watts? But there's so much potential. I mean, the frame is yeah. like full on dirt bike material. But uh, yeah, we got the mini moto wheels. We got some prickly parts. Of course. And a whole lot of fun ahead of us. Mm -hmm. There's literally no tread on them. It's about as sticky as they come. Yeah, well, good luck in any wetness. Right? <laughs> and they're light too, huh? Yeah, actually, they're fairly light. Where would these come from? Uh, these are from Grid Shift. That's the Saronster decal right there. Thoughts? <laughs> Okay, so I brought the CRF. We're gonna be doing a project on this, making it more powerful, put some street wheels on it. Very excited about that, but that's for another video. Before we throw the mini supermotos on, first I'm gonna go back to a primary belt drive, and I'm also gonna throw on some new prickly parts and give a bunch away. Starting off with the triangle, new extended linkage with the fresh bearings in there, wow. Peg mounts. Oh, these are so much better than stock. Ignition plate. Oh, oh this is the mount for my Fisher Fab House headlight. Just look at that. That is beautiful. All right, I'm gonna have to ask Domo about this one. I have no idea what this is for. Brand new axle, wow. Ooh, kickstands. Look at that. Wow, that's sick. I think I got all the sizes because I'm about to be changing my wheels around, so you, you need multiple sizes. Come on. So this morning, I shipped out the prize from the last giveaway, which means today I'm excited to announce the next giveaway, which is this box of beautiful prickly parts. Did that sound cheesy? We've got a prickly triangle, peg spacer with both mounts, an extended rear linkage with both the bearings, and a one-of-a-kind Saronster red belt cover. It says Saronster on it, and it's got some of my Saronster grease. This is pretty much all you need to ice out your Saron, so check the description for how to enter. It's totally free. But please, please, please listen to me right now. There are so many scammers in the comments. If somebody responds to your comment, and their account does not have the check next to it, and it only has my profile photo, it's not me. Please proceed with caution. There's a lot of scammers. Let's get to it. Look at this. Before we even started, oh my God, I was about to lose the primary chain. I am glad I, I'm changing back to belt. Look oh, at yeah. that. Look at that. Right there. I guess I wasn't looping it enough, huh? This is how you do it. <laughs> throw it, throw it. No, don't throw it. This is the most I do. There you go. So Domo always has the cool stuff. This is a normal 18650. This is a little bit bigger, 21700. What are these, Domo? This is a uh, 30 something odd. I can't see the number. 38120. 
3.2 volt. Look at this thing. It's like a soda can. Fresh axle. Wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Old axle. New. <laughs> and now we use the new one. Good. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, honestly, Domo, at this point, I really think I'm doing too much. <laughs> well, let go, but you're now making it harder. Oh, you don't even need me to do no, that? No, oh, you're making okay. it too high. It's hot. It's hot, dude. It's hot, bro. It's hot. That looks so much better than the red. Okay, we've got the 17-inch rear wheel against the 12-inch rear wheel. Let's see how much they weigh. Please do the honors. 13.6 pounds. 11.3 on the 12. There you go. Look at that upgrade. The original's all broken. Ooh. All right, it's on. It's on and honestly, like probably my least favorite design from Prickly. I think everything else looks really good. I don't know what it is. This looks kind of off. Let me know what you guys think down below. Look at this tiny little wheel. Look how big the sprocket is compared to it. Look how big this sprocket is. It's as big as the rim. Oh, the torque's gonna be stupid. Okay, grid shift. Okay. Wow, I did not realize until now that this was actually the rear axle bolt. Look at that. Look at that design. It also comes with a brand new axle nut. So these wheels are five inches smaller than the old ones. And they're like maybe a quarter inch, half inch wider. Fresh grease on that. So here you can kind of see the difference between the 17 inch Supermotos and the 12s. I, I'm loving the 12s. I think they fit the bike even better. Goodbye, 17 inches. Okay, scale test on the front wheels. Let's see it. 17 inch wheel, 10 pounds flat. Ooh, that's interesting. It's actually half a pound heavier on the Minimoto wheel. First look. Wow. Right. Okay, it is the next day and I'm out here with UTV Chris, one of the first people I've ever seen put mini moto wheels on his bike definitely one of my inspirations look at the ronster right now we've got the prickly pegs with the prickly peg mount and the prickly peg pacer the prick pegs pegs pacer peg spacer prickly ignition plate the kickstands didn't fit even the smallest ones too too long also got the prickly triangle and linkage i love it in the black i'm still running a 62 tooth sprocket on these wheels the gear ratio is absurd Compare it to Chris's, it is ridiculous. I'm expecting a ton of torque. I haven't had a chance to ride it yet. This will be my first test ride. First impression is that the bike looks absolutely amazing. Look how low this is. So when I'm standing, my butt's not even touching it. I wonder if it bottoms out. Looks pretty sick. Let's go ride. Two Minimoto Surons. I also put the belt drive on, the primary belt drive, and I just fell back in love with it. Mini Chris right here. Oh my. Oh my god, look at this. I'm so nimble. Whoa. Okay, let's see how torquey it is. So I've got the 62 tooth sprocket on a 12 inch wheel. It's damn near as big as the wheel itself. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, it feels so good. Let's go. I was afraid it was gonna feel like shit. All right, circle distance, circle radius, let's see. This is the smallest radius I've ever done on a bike. Wow. Wow. It's so, oh my God, it's so torquey. Ah! <laughs> and just, I feel so nimble. So much contact on the pavement. I've been exclusively riding the 17 inch wheels. So I'm very familiar with how those feel and I can, I can compare it to these. I, I prefer the 12s for street riding already. Look how nimble I am. Let's see the wheelie though, because on the 17s, it leans. When you're wheeling, you have to counteract it. Let's see how the lean is on this. Almost no lean at all. It's totally centered. Oh my God, this feels so good. And I bet once you get these warmed up, they are just sticky, icky. We're back, that was just a quick ride. I'm absolutely enamored with the Ronster right now. 
totally different ride. Super well grounded on the pavement. Feels light and nimble. And I just think it looks badass. Next up, going to the LA Riverbed. And I'm filming with this drone pilot that I met on Instagram. Check out their YouTube right here. Yeah, here he is. Hell yeah, bro. What's up? Me too. Good to meet you too. Is this a camper van or just carrying stuff? No, it's my camper van. I've been looking into those. Dude, you should get one, it's sick. Look at that drone, dude, are you kidding me? Does it have eight motors on it? Wow. Born and raised in LA? No, 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 no. I actually grew up overseas. Really? Yeah. Where at? Uh, around Europe and Asia. And then I came out here for college. Um, and I just graduated and I'm gonna stay out here. This, dude, if you turn that on, you could like just take off. It's like a jetpack. Look at this thing. Oh man, be careful. That one's obviously more powerful. I don't think we're gonna be using the full power of either of these. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to put you on this just because it's smaller and easier to deal with. And I'll just put you in the low power mode. I kind of want you to not have your gear on and take it for a quick spin. What do you think? Just just so you don't loop it. Because people, they'll loop it. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, I think I got this. All right. Perfect. So my understanding is that we can basically just send it. Go into a dive, I just go straight towards the ground. Let's do it. Let's do that right now. Is it for your goggles? Yep. I just think that by the time we get back, it'll be line of sight. Kind of see what it looks like. Yeah. Whoa. What the hell? Oh my god. That's a cinema camera. Whoa. Fuck. Well, you'll be back, right? So we can try again. Let's go. I'm at the track. We're gonna test these 12 inch itty bitty sticky icky supermoto slicks. They've got zero tread. This is what they're made for. 72 volt tri battery code below, BAC 4000 controller, stock motor. This should be exactly what this bike is built for. Small track racing. Let's see how it performs. Out here. Yeah. <laughs> Adams Motorsports Park, 72 volt Saran cart. Oh. Woo! Jeez. We wouldn't be. Oh. Dude, you can't even fit a finger. Here we go. Let's get these tires warmed up. This is my very first time on a track. I'm actually really glad I have a full bodysuit on right now. Here we go, baby. I have no idea what the proper form is. So you hear that? You hear that? That's my peg. Oh. 
in power mode five. This is not even close to full power. Here we go. Let's see how I can hit this turn. Scraping the peg. Oh my god, I just scraped the peg so bad. Yeah! Okay, the limitation right now is not the wheels. Well, it's not the bike, I'm the limitation. But to me, the limitation is the pegs. Because listen, that's scraping. Keeping up, Man. dude. Thanks. Did, did he say no wheelies on the thing? No. Oh, yeah, I think he was just impressed. <laughs> so the limitation isn't the wheels; it's me, and it's the fact that the the, pegs. the peg scrape. Yeah. You can't get any angle without scraping. Did you scrape them a little? Uh, every turn. Every and this this suit, I want to get one of these suits. Definitely. So carding suit. Carding suit. Carding suit. Let me see how hot the tires are right now. They're probably boiling. Oh, let's gauge it. Not that bad, actually. Fifty-eight. A little more in the rear, 65. 65, and yeah. is that Celsius? Celsius, yeah. Wow, I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, let's see how much battery I have. I started with 100, I'm at 91, so I could do another like. You like all day. I got talked into this. Look at this thing. It's 72 volts though. 72 volts. We're running the same. Oh, it already broke. Oh yeah, the chain's off. Okay, <laughs> I'll see you out there. Wow. So here are my thoughts on the 12 inch Supermotos. I'm not taking these off. I am not taking these off. Whether you're in the street or on a track like this, you have so much control, so much agility, so much grip. It just it feels amazing. I'm in love. I just, I don't really want to put the 17s back on, to be honest. Maybe it's just because I've ridden them for two years. And it's time for something new, but oh my God. And as far as wheeling goes, they wheelie really well, but here's my here's my opinion. If you're new to wheeling, I wouldn't get these. I think they're more challenging to wheelie. And that's because the balance point is actually a lot higher with these small wheels than it is on the 17s. But because the balance point's higher, you got so much more room to play up here. And it's really fun to wheelie. So I would say these wheels are really good for wheeling if you're intermediate or advanced not good for wheeling if you're a beginner well there you go that is my review of the 12 inch sticky icky itty bitty supermoto wheels that i got from grid shift and i don't want to take them off as always thank you so much for watching as i do